Good morning, everyone. I am going to make butter pecan ice cream in my Cuisinart ice cream maker. I know it's December, so it's like kind of weird to make ice cream in December, but I have fresh pecans. Uh, it's not that cold here yet in Missouri. Today it's like 70 degrees, so why not make some ice cream? And I got these fresh pecans. If you don't have fresh pecans, you can use store-bought pecans. You need one cup of chopped pecans. So I'm gonna turn a movie on and crack some pecans and pick out the meat while watching a movie. And I'll come back when I have a cup's worth of cracked pecans. I am working on the butter pecan part. So on low heat, I melted four tablespoons of butter. And now I'm taking the one cup chopped pecans and just browning it in the butter for about eight minutes on low heat and that will make my butter pecans for my ice cream so it's four tablespoons of butter melted um, a teaspoon of salt and then the cup of chopped pecans all right i'm done toasting them i stirred constantly for about eight minutes and now I'm gonna pour it into the strainer over this cup. Uh, you wanna strain out the butter and you also want them to let, you wanna let them sit and cool down because you definitely do not want them hot when you pour them into the ice cream mixture. So I'm gonna put this in the strainer and let it sit for about an hour. Or maybe not as long. We'll see how long it takes to get it cooled. Time to churn the ice cream. So I have a standard ice cream mixture this is one cup whole milk, three fourth cup sugar, two cups heavy cream, and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Chilled in the fridge for a couple hours. I got my, um, why can't I remember what this is called? My barrel, it's been in the freezer for a couple days. So I'm gonna pour this in and I'm gonna turn it on for 20 minutes. And then I'm going to add the pecans for the last five minutes. So let me get this poured in and started. All right, it started churning. And since this is a pretty simple, basic model, two quarts, um, all it has is the on and off dial. So I will set an alarm on my phone because I'm not gonna sit and watch this for 20 minutes. Um, it is actually cool to watch because you can watch it slowly freeze. But I got things to do, a hockey game to watch. So I will set my phone for 20 minutes and come back in 20 minutes. All right, it's been 20 minutes. So, oh, I don't think I can take that off without messing that up. So let's just, this is the butter pecans. So, let's see if I can add that without making a mess. All right, I'm gonna need my spoon because it's sticking. Hold on one second. And now we let that stir, it's sounding like it's really working. So stir this for like five minutes and then the ice cream will be ready. I'm just gonna leave that in for a minute while we scoop out our sample to do a taste test. Robert, you wanna scoop out? All right, I think I can do it. These are our favorite ice cream bowls. It's a good consistency. Let me do a second scoop. And then we've got these ice cream cartons that we store the leftover in. It melts very quickly. <laughs> Cause it's just, if you want it, if you like it more thicker, like then you stick it in the freezer for 30 minutes, but we like the soft serve style. All right, here we go. Taste test. amazing toasting the pecans are so important oh my god it wow. makes it's just 
It blows the store-bought stuff away. Mm -hmm. Holy crap. Mm -hmm. I, I actually, I don't really, I did not really like butter pecan ice cream from the grocery store, but we had pecans. I wanted to use them up. And so I saw this recipe online and oh my God, it is so good. Oh. Got a little shell there. Sorry. When you hand crack your pecans, that happens. Um, is that what's a little crunchier? Sorry, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Don't crunch too hard. No, I also, because it's not just that. I browned the butter really good. So when I toasted the pecans, I added, and it was part of the directions, a teaspoon of salt and um, the four tablespoons of butter and I and I really I'm not a huge salt fan but the salt is oh. very important for this I just it's a really good contrast so this is like it's maybe my new favorite type of ice cream butter pecan so I'll I'll link the um recipe down below for where I found it uh if the Cuisinart they got some pretty standard recipes. You just have to Google it, but this wasn't from Cuisinart. This was from a, another vlogger. So I will, or a woman, you know, a website. I'll link her down below because it's, it's a really good recipe. I, I just think toasting the pecans was the absolute key. It changes the, it changes the flavor. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It really does. <sighs> They're sort of flat when you eat them, mm -hmm. but then when you toasted them, it brought out all kinds of different flavors. Yeah, I would have never thought about toasting them. I've never done that, but you want some more? There's, yeah. can you, I'm recording. Come around here. He don't want to be on video. No, nobody. And he knows he'd have to walk behind me. Exactly. Let me get I'm him another four. scoop. Two. <laughs> I'm getting you another scoop. This ain't gonna last long. I'm gonna I'm have to make- a big ice cream person. I have to make a second batch. There yeah, you go. That's really good. Yeah, we are not huge ice cream fans, but I mean, not, we love ice cream, but like, we just don't eat tons of it, yeah. but. Um, if you've watched my past ice cream videos, we won this at an arcade. We're arcade people. We go to Dave & Buster's a lot. This was one of our prizes, and we've just been experimenting with it, and I love it. And uh, making, you know, your own homemade um, ice cream is relatively inexpensive. You just, you know, you got to buy milk, and you got to buy cream. But other than that, you, you know, you just flavor it, and it's, it's cheaper than buying ice cream at the store, and it's, to me, it's a lot more fun. So, um... And like I mentioned earlier, it's December, but it's 70 degrees out. It's it's very warm. It's fine for ice cream. I'm also one of those people, I can eat ice cream in the cold. That doesn't bug me. It's not just a summer dessert for me. So we're really loving our ice cream maker. It's turning us into ice cream people because it's just, it's so easy. And you can just experiment with so many flavors because that's the other thing. Um, this is a two quart, which is perfect for a family of two. Uh, if you had a bunch of kids, there's other models that are bigger. I would highly recommend a bigger one because this really is just for two people. But with this this small one, you can experiment with flavors. And then if you don't like it, there's really not, and you just want to throw it away, there really isn't a lot to throw away. So you're not really wasting too much. So it kind of just gives you more room to experiment. If you, like me, half your experiments don't work out. <laughs> so I don't know if you can see her. Monkey, would you like some ice cream? She's panting around. She does like ice cream. Okay, there, she's gone. She likes ice cream. The milk part. So anyway, thanks for watching. Um, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. I hope you're all having a wonderful December, and I hope you have a Merry Christmas. All right, there was enough left over for four to go into the um, freezer, and Robert's cleaning off the barrel. There's still more in the barrel. See? When it's close to the side, it gets pretty frozen on. Um, if you don't want to scrape it, just put a little hot water in it. It'll loosen right up.